Imam Anarim. When we struggle in the way of Allah, does it ever get easy? <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. When you struggle in the way of Allah, does it ever get easy? Yes, it does. Then it gets more difficult, then it gets easy, then it gets more difficult, and it gets easy, and it gets more difficult. Our aim is not ease or difficulty, our aim is pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's pleasing Him. If it pleases Him to send difficulties to us, what are we going to complain? If it pleases Him to send us ease, we're going to complain? What kind of believer we are? It's not for nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is repeating twice. After every difficulty, there is ease. Indeed, after every difficulty, there is ease. So you're living in this world. It will repeat itself like that. Why is this? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means to make us always to rise to higher station. You never get stuck. You finish one, another one will be sent to you. You finish that one, another one. So you can keep on rising, rising, rising. It never stops. Your ego attacks this way, you finish it. It's going to attack this way, you'll be able to finish it. Attack this way, this way. And every time that you're fighting against your shaitan and your ego, you come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why we want to stop now? But the difficulty is not going to be the same difficulty as when you first enter. It's not going to be the same difficulty as, say, when you are... Uh, Difficulty of a 20-year-old is not the same as the difficulty of a 10-year-old. You understand? When you are 40 years old, certain things are easy, but certain things, now they are more difficult. So as you go, as you go, as you go, and that's physically, as you live in this world, you'll find that things that were difficult before, I can manage it right now, but new things are given to you because you are growing because we are changing. But that is not, the difficulty is not intended to make life terrible for us. It is not meant to make life to be hard for us. It is meant to bring us closer to Him because when we push through that difficulty, we will find Him. Because this world is not paradise. This world is a world of difficulty, and Allah means to make us to understand that. If He makes this world to be a paradise, every one of us will forget Him, will turn our face away from Him. So even mercy, right time and right place, is correct. Mercy, wrong time, wrong place, wrong people, no good. Understand now the delicacy of that. It's a very delicate subject. Because once Holy Prophet والسلام, was walking and Hazrat Abu Hurairah started walking behind him and following him. And they came to a garden and Hazrat Abu Hurairah then came out from the garden carrying his shoes, his Mubarak shoes, running, and he was so happy, you can see his face. And Hazrat Omar was there standing. Who is Hazrat Abu Hurairah? Who is Hazrat Omar? These are the ones, high station, Sahabis. And Hazrat Omar is saying, why are you looking so happy? And Hazrat Abu Hurairah is saying, because I have the secret. The Prophet just told me. What did he tell you? He says, anyone who says, La ilaha illallah, he will enter into paradise. And Hazrat Umar says, don't you dare open your mouth and say that. Hazrat Abu Hurairah is saying, what are you saying? This is what the Prophet says. And they start fighting. Hazrat Umar knocked down Hazrat Abu Hurairah. This is an example where there is ishtihad. And understand now the ishtihad and the station of Hazrat Umar. Because 
it is showing from the beginning and continuing, Hazrat Umar, if anyone, he has been given the permission now to open new ways. Then even the Prophet والسلام, agrees with him. When he took the shahadat, the first thing he said was what? What are we doing here? Let's go out to the Kaaba and show our faith. Are we not following Haq? Yes, we must show ourselves. No longer hiding. And the Prophet والسلام, was just sitting in the house and he says, yes, you are right. Instance after instance, keep on going. His permission is given to him. So the Prophet والسلام, came out and he saw them fighting. And he says, what happened, Ya Umar? What happened, Ya Asim? Abu Huraira. He says, this is what happened, Ya Rasulullah. You told me this to say the key to paradise is to la ilaha illallah. And he's stopping me from saying it. As the Umar is saying, yes, Ya Rasulullah, I'm stopping him. Because if you spread this to the nation, if you spread this to the ones that you are trying to speak to right now, especially not a single one of them will ever make sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They're not going to worship, they're not going to pray, they're not going to be good people because they say we have the key. They're just going to say la ilaha illallah. And that's it. Prophet says, Ya Umar, you are right. That hadith was not open until Hazrat Umar passed. Hazrat Abu Huraira did not open that hadith. He did not say anything until Hazrat Umar passed, then he started opening it. Understanding who these ones are, why we're following them. The justice. Inshallah. So, following how these ones go through their lives, we will know how to handle the struggle. Then that struggle, we're not going to look at that struggle as a struggle. You're going to look at that not as something that is uh, difficulty. You're going to look at that as something that gives you honor. And if you don't have that, then you're going to say, what is happening? Why is this? You start doubting yourself. May Allah make it easy, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.